What up, guys? Mad Scientist 7890 here, your favorite shooter and hip hop enthusiast. Now, with this going to be an in the lab video here, we're going to do some audio on this one. So, some specific things I want to talk about. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the big um, ROH um, Chikara storyline going down in, in, in Philly uh, with the homecoming show, the Synergy show they're going to be you know, promoting uh, in April. Um, I think this is a great, great move um, on both parts. Actually, I think that um, you know the, the thing, the thing that that Ring of Honor and Chikara both get knocked for is the you know is the opposite of of what each other's good at. Um, you know, Chikara is that promotion that's that's really good at, at you know developing characters and coming up with storylines and and really drawing people in that way. Um, Ring of Honor is a kind of company that's more more about the athleticism and then the wrestling matches or, or the you know the key point with 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 Chikara, their ma their matches they're great most of them are pretty good but none of them are spectacular or amazing you know and and with Ring of Honor you know the storylines are and the characters are not always there it's not you know usually the main priority with Ring of Honor so coming together here and kind of doing a dual show here I guess they're calling it a wrestling holiday this is absolutely amazing to me I think it's it's definitely a great idea and a concept I saw the video of you know the match with the Briscoes and how it, you know the Chikara, part of the Chikara roster came out and Ultramanus Black was talking and, you know, I, I think it's a really smart move because, you know, I think it's it's something that, you know, people have been, been talking about that, that, that Ring of Honor has been stale for a while and they haven't been doing as much and, and what they've been doing they do with the Homecoming show and, and they got the 10th anniversary and, you know, they got a lot of stuff coming up here. You know, Chikara's got some stuff coming up here real soon. They're, you know, their season opening and, and, and the King of Trios is usually right around WrestleMania time. So, they always have, you know, a lot of big stuff going on at the beginning of the year, but I think this is a really good way to kick off the year for both promotions. And, and even though it's in April, a couple of, in a couple of months, I think it's a, a good way to start promoting it and, and maybe start a feud out of it, maybe like a Ring of Honor, like CZW type thing. Um, obviously, I think that, the, you know, the matches that would come out of this would be great. There's obviously, you know, guys from Chikara that I would love to see wrestle in Ring of Honor, um, you know, tag matches, singles matches. Um, you know, God forbid. We, I mean, I'd love to see Eddie Kingston, you know, do some stuff. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if the guys that are also that that also work in Chikara, that also work in Dragon Gate USA, are, are being allowed to work, you know, with Ring of Honor for this for this stuff. But um, you know, seeing a guy like Johnny Gargano, I don't really know if he's injured. He's going to be out for a while, or you know, but a guy like Johnny Gargano or Chuck Taylor or Rich Swan, you know, do some stuff maybe, uh, you know, with with Chikar, with Chikara and with Ring of Honor or, you know, it's really weird how all these promotions are connected. Um, but, you know, Chikara being a promotion that I really, really enjoy and I'm just not able to, I don't have the, the funds to buy all their stuff. This seems like something that I would really try to throw down and, and possibly buy or even go to. Um, like I said, I live in, you know, the St. Louis area. This is happening at, you know, Chicago Ridge. I've been there uh, what, four or five times, you know, in the past years and I definitely think this could be a possibility to go to as well. Um, but yeah, just, just the possibilities of the matches that they could have with these guys. I know from what I read, I think they're, they're going to run a, um, a Chikara show first in the afternoon and then a Ring of Honor show at night. Um, you know, I, I would expect, I mean, I would expect somehow a, at least for the promotions to cross some talent and possibly use some talent, different talent for these shows. And, um, you know, and they're making a big festival and holiday out of it. I think this is big news, uh, big, big news coming out of the indies because, you know, like I said, I'm such a huge fan of both these promotions and what they do and, and coming together for this this one big show. You know, Japan, you know, in, in Japan they do stuff like this all the time. Noah comes together with New Japan for Wrestle Kingdoms and other shows. So, you know, if you're an independent wrestling promotion coming together to, I would say, considerably two of the, be the, the best and biggest indie promotions in all of wrestling, um, come together and doing this show here could be is, is definitely a great move for both sides can't wait to see what they do with this and can't wait to see if i may go live I may i mean you know it's a couple months from now several months from now actually so who knows uh, i don't know from there but that's what i think about that let me know what you guys think about the uh ring of honor chikara synergy stuff um if you're interested or you're a fan or whatever if you think what they might do i don't know um so next thing i'm going to talk about here is a little bit of tna something's got me excited about tna um and, and that's this, this Alex Shelley versus Austin Aries feud that, that's possibly going to be brewing here. Um, 
you know, two guys that I really enjoy in the ring, and it's it's really saddened me that I haven't got to see Alex Shelley wrestle a lot lately. Um, you know, Aries doing a lot of great stuff here, but it just to me the X division has just been kind of blah. You know, Austin Aries has been the champion. I mean, God forbid. I mean, you know, he's great, but he he doesn't really can't really do much if you don't have anybody that's to your equal. Um, uh, I don't think Shelley's to his equal when it comes to you know persona or gimmick, but I think. In the ring, I think I think Shelley is every bit of, every bit of a wrestler that Austin Aries is. Shelley's an absolutely great wrestler and one of my favorite guys in all of TNA. To see him come back and to see the stuff that he's going to do with Austin Aries and, and and you know it really gets me excited about you know I haven't been excited for one match, one match that I just was just really excited for that I was like man I have to see this TNA pay per view I have to see this TNA show just for this one match uh, in a long time. Not even Bound for Glory. I wasn't even like. Oh yeah, you know, rude versus rude versus ankle. You know, I wasn't like, oh yeah, that's something I really, really, really want to see. Um, this is a match I really want to see because the roots that was that that's been you know set into this, the stuff back to Ring of Honor and and you know the Generation Next stuff. And 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 if you know about all this stuff, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But you know, they were in a faction years ago in, in Ring of Honor, and you know, splitting away and breaking apart, and Shelly going to TNA and. and Aries staying in Ring of Honor, becoming the champion there, and doing and really going to different paths, and, and finally coming to head here, and, and possibly going to have this you know this one on one singles match here that they're going to have at this pay per view coming up, which is probably the main reason why I'm I'm actually looking forward to seeing this show. This actual TNA pay per view that's coming up is the quality of the matches that 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 are on on paper look very good, um, and and I'm definitely interested in uh, this show just for the match quality. But yeah, that match alone. Um, the Aries versus Shelley, you know, stuff here, and hopefully this this culminates in, in, a, in, a, in a really good feud with some really good matches. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this match that they're going to have at the pay-per-view coming up here. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Shelley and Aries. This is the most, you know, I've been looking forward to an actual match. It, I mean, in TNA, I mean, at least X Division-wise, like, I've been like, oh, yeah, whatever. They're just going to put this guy with this guy and blah, 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 blah. I mean, you know. When it, when you get a taste of old school TNA like this, where it's where it's but but it still feels fresh because you haven't seen it in, in years, it's something where you're like, okay, okay, I'm I'm excited again um, for 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 this product for TNA, you know, at least the X division and at least a little bit what TNA is doing. So that's what I'm throwing out there. Let me know what you guys think about this Shelley versus Aries feud. I'm very excited for this. Can't wait to see this match. Um, third topic here. Um, the struggles and the demons, I guess you could say, of uh, Evan Bourne. Um, you know, I've met Evan Bourne, uh, I believe, twice. The first, the first time I bought, met him, uh, you know, it was just kind of like, hey, hello, how you doing? It was like at a wrestling show. The next time I met him was at a signing here in St. Louis, and and, and I'm not gonna lie to anybody, you know, when I when I met him, I, I I thought I thought he was high, I really did. I thought he was he was stoned uh, when we met him. When when I was with a group of buddies, I was like, man, he seems just really out of it. Um, maybe he's just tired. He's been on the road. I have no idea. But this this synthetic marijuana problem that he's that's that's coming upon him is is really hurting his career. And um, you know, I never expected Evan Bourne to be a guy where where I would see him, you know, excel to the main event level. Um, you know, or or you know, I maybe see him go to the go to the mid card possibly. That is about it. Um, I never really thought about him going any higher than that. Um, but you know, a guy that every time he's out there, I, I can't wait to see. And, and the thing of it is, is it's like, you know, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting your, you know, you're getting your company back to, to trying to at least get it back to some, some, some tag team, um, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? It, a little bit of tag team, you know, back into the WWE with, with the air boom. And, and I was really enjoying what they're doing now. The possibility of him being endeavored, future endeavored, um, it is really just, to bothersome because I am a huge fan of Evan Bourne. I am from St. Louis. I remember watching him, uh, you know, at indie shows here. I've seen him at a couple indie shows here in, in St. Louis, and I'd seen him, you know, live in Ring of Honor a couple times. So it's it's just like, you know, it's one of those things to see, like, you know, hey, that's one of my boys. You know, that's one of my guys. He finally made it, he made his WWE. He's there and he's doing the, you know doing his thing. And you know, you're always a fan of him because you you know you knew him back when he wasn't. Um, and now he's in this situation where you know. He's possibly being fired or whatever the situation is. Um, the only thing good that would come out of this is, um, you know, if he got fired, 
obviously, you know, TNA has no problem with picking up people who, you know, WWE lets go that do drugs. I mean, you know, it's, it's not a big thing for TNA. If the person can draw people in, whether or not they smoke weed, smoke crack, do whatever, they'll pick them up. Um, so, you know, I'm, you know, I don't think Evan Moore does all that. I mean, he smokes a little bit of weed uh, or whatever. That's whatever. Whatever he does on his own time, and he's not in the – I mean, I've never seen Evan Moore high in the ring like a Jeff Hardy, but, you know, it, it, to me it just seems – a bit ridiculous and, and, and you know it's it's bit it's a bit upsetting but like I said if he you know every if he did get fired he was not there um, like I said TNA would be a place he would I, I would obviously see him going he had wrestled there pr- prior a couple times and we're back to Ring of Honor as a television deal which would be great because they have no high flyers but um, either way you look at this this could be a new path for Evan Bourne I just I just want to see you know this guy succeed because I think he's a great wrestler I think he deserves you know to 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 be that main event tag team, and, and he, they were in the middle of really trying to do that, and some some things came up and really got in his way. But um, you know, that's my thoughts on Evan Bourne. I, I hope he doesn't get fired. You know, there's a lot of talk about saying he is. He's up. He's already pretty much done. You know, they just haven't officially said it. So who knows? But yeah, this is my in the lab video here, guys. Got these three topics for you. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about the synergy stuff with Chikara and Ring of Honor. Let me know what you guys think about Aries and Shelly. This feud they're doing, and then you know, just Evan Bourne just. You know his struggles you know stuff going on with him and you know how you know things could happen with him and how you know if he could stay or if he'd leave or if he get fired who knows who really knows what's going to happen with Evan Bourne I don't really know but um yeah those are my topics I'm the mad scientist guys I'm out of here and peace